Hi guys, Rick Damoth with Cowtown USA, and we're here uh, with, we're fixed to hang our first G2 jet. Now we're going to start with the, uh, with the 150. Smudged up here, but this is what we're going to start with, and we're just going to take you through the steps of this, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a wiener. The motor, it's another thing we have to have the motor. We're going to put this 150 G2 jet, the, the world's first, on the Legend SS boat. Mark Riley is the one that's going to, he's, get, he's preparing the boat uh, for, the, uh, for the motor now. Uh, this is going to get really interesting, guys, really interesting. This is an 1860, 100 gauge. Uh, I mean, this, this is a bass boat, so we're not building a race boat. So we're going to see how all this comes together. We're just going to walk you through this uh, motion by motion. This is Eddie Dick Horner here with me. He's my head mechanic here at Cowtown USA, my head technician. And we're doing something we've never done before, so we're, this is a little bit of guesswork. We're bringing you guys into this. Uh, we're wondering, we've got the pump, the new pump that only fits the G2, so we're going to start with there. We're, we're a little bit concerned about the impeller. We know we've got about 15% more torque on this engine uh, than what the standard engine is. The standard engine G2 is around one, uh, around 200 pounds of torque. This new G2 uh, 150, they bumped it up to um, about 230. So all this will be trial and error. The mark is preparing the boat. Right now we've already got uh, 175 E-Tech, Edward E-Tech on this. This is a G1 series. We're going to move this 175 horsepower on here. And we've got, we have to make no modifications at all. The 150 G2, we are assuming right now, will, will work in its place. So this is, our, this is our next step on the journey. We've chosen Legend SS here at Cowtown. We're real familiar with the boat. It's a really good, jettable boat. It's a boat that, uh, it's actually a boat that we, we've done a lot of it and we can count on this to be consistent. So we put this we put this G2 motor on here and we're gonna know, uh, we're gonna see the improvements or, or exactly what it's doing. Box got unboxed, ready to stand it up here and mount this on the back of this Legend SS boat. Here for on the side. Trying to make it work with this cable. So this is completely different than the G1 setup? Yes. Different than that, different than what even Outboard Jets had decided. Have to have this to adapt to our OMC cables, our Evernote cables. Evernote cables. Playing a little game here, unbox the, unbox the side panel. Uh-huh. Oh, this looks like this may be one of my favorite colors. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh, oh look at that. Oh my goodness. Dang, that sucker's gonna be pretty. <laughs> Once you look what's hooked to this Legend SS 2002 Bombardier Quest 650. Got it all wrapped up here. Got the top off of it, use it for tools. Putting this boat 
way down there in the lake. I think you might see it. I think you might see it. Anyway, <clears throat> just let you see we're, we're still running this Bombardier every day. We will pull its guts out, but it stays with us. That hooked this legend SS boat. We're the first G2 jet in the world. One of the main differences that you'll find is having an adapter plate that separates the motor. Lower unit, is that what you call it, Eddie? Most of you one arm. You have an adapter plate that separates the lower unit or the midsection from the jet. And you can see that this is something that's not normally on the jets. Because of the size of the shoe, we've had to put is the Marat guy seven and seven eighths in this? Seven and five eighths. Seven and five eighths cut back. But because of the size of the pump and the shoe, we couldn't put the smaller uh, we would normally put what in it? Seven and three eighths. Seven three eighths. So we're thinking if this was a normal 150, it would turn about 3,000 RPMs with this uh, with this particular impeller in it. Go ahead. Mark. So we're going to find out, hopefully, in the next day or so. But there it is, guys. The world's first G2 with a pump on it on the back of a Legend SS aluminum basketball. It's hot. Still coming late at night. 